are just about ready to get underway here in game two of the first round of the Western Conference playoffs. 2K Sports brings it to you live once again. I'm Kevin Harlan along with Greg Anthony and Brett Berry, our terrific analysts, and David Aldridge is our sideline reporter. We'll see the Oklahoma City Thunder facing Las Vegas. You take a look at Las Vegas. Tough loss for them in game one. We'll see if they can rally back in front of their hometown crowd to tie the series. And, and, and this virtually becomes a must win after that loss in game one. You almost never see a team drop the first two at home and go on to win a playoff series. So here's Oklahoma City's starting group. Inside pairing is Grant and Adams. Robertson and George fill out the wings. And it's Westbrook in at the point. Westbrook's defense wants to keep Grant out of the paint. He wants to get in. That's why. And so it's the Thunder getting on the board first. The rebound by Grant. I'm not going to see that very often. The defense in the vicinity, but still, he's not one to blow layups. And the basket is good. Uh, this is Westbrook just being an ultra competitor. He gets in there, and the defense has nothing to do some tough offensive sets they want to turn it around yeah right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum Westbrook against White Bolden can't get it to go first quarter of play with about a minute and a half gone George no good I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points I mean he makes you pay on those nearly every time outside White Shot clock at six. From about 16, Abrinas' shot is off. That was some very intimidating, aggressive defense that really helped alter that shot. Now on the scoring column with that bucket, one for two this game. PG playing behind the pick and roll, able to use his size. And pretty good decision that time with the basketball. And stolen by Robertson. Pass to Westbrook, lets the three fly. They get it again, Adams. And he gets the whistle, two free throws coming up. Well, love the aggressive play here from Adams. He gets the shot he wants, and now another opportunity to challenge himself at the free throw line. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. This is the free throw. And Steven Adams does all of the dirty work. I mean, all of it, Kevin. A defensive anchor and continues to play with tremendous energy on a nightly basis. And the second free throw, good. And first time out of the game called for Las Vegas. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, here's what Las Vegas' head coach had to say earlier. I asked him how they're going to respond after giving away home court advantage in game one. The coach said, hey, that was the last game. That's in the past. We're focused on the present and simply executing to the best of our abilities tonight. But he did admit, Kevin, that another loss here would paint a very grim picture going forward. Back to you. Thank you, David. Two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Pass to Abrinas. Shot clock at five. Las Vegas needs to get off a shot. Las Vegas again missing. Yeah, slow start right now. Five straight misses to get this one going. And it's Westbrook missing. Las Vegas trails by seven. Outside, White. Passes it to Abrinas. 
It's good from long range. And a solid playmaker. White has a great sense for when he should look to give it up. Westbrook with a wide open look. It's rebounded by Las Vegas. And he's not very hard to defend right now. This is when the defense might step back and let him try to find his range. McGee dishes the white, takes the three. That's in, and he found his range with that one. Now one for two. Man, you have got to honor White on the perimeter. Once he gets comfortable from there, it's going to be bad news for the defense. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. That gives them the lead. This can make it so much easier for your teammate when you throw that lead pass that gets to him right on the money, whether that's on the run or in the shooting pocket. Now, here's George. Grant, right side. It's up a three. That's good for George on the assist by Grant. George has got five points so far. Well, that's Paul George's game. Most accurate when somebody's feeding him and he's got his feet set. Abrinas, the pass to White. Here's Parsons. What's it fly from 18? One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. And can't allow Parsons to get into a comfort zone, especially from that mid-range area. The shot's good from Westbrook. A fantastic move right there. Just that quick little reverse layup. White against Westbrook. Here's Aprinas. Out of bounds. Oklahoma City takes possession. So for Las Vegas, Caleb Swanigan's checked in for Bolden. And it's Alan Crabb in for Parsons. Dennis Schroeder's checked in for Oklahoma City. And so George will bring it up for Oklahoma City. Outside Westbrook. There's the triple. It's rebounded by Las Vegas. Well, his shooting has been a little bit below par. You think about what this lead would look like if he was on. Here's George. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. George has got his third basket of the night right there. To the left side wing. Here's McGee. Comes up empty down low. And that concludes the first quarter of play. It's the Thunder. They lead by four. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in just a moment. Ladies and gentlemen, dance team. And glad to have you with us as we get going here in game two. And when you consider how the Thunder are doing, guys, what do you think? Stingy on the defensive end in that first quarter. They were just getting up into people. Just a, a great job, really, of making the game ugly, trying to muck it up a little bit out there. The Thunder leading by four. So the Thunder five right now. Beasley is out there with Paul George. Then there's Dennis Schroeder. And then there's Stephen Adams. And it's Westbrook in a two guard. Kept alive. The shot's good from McGee. McGee's got the opening basket here in the second quarter for Las Vegas. Schroeder kicks to Westbrook. That three off the mark. And not a way to get out of a funk. He needs to be looking for good, solid, more efficient shots. Not the wild one he took there. And so it's Oklahoma City with it. On the wing, George. Back to Schroeder. Oklahoma City moving it around, and that one's good. Westbrook. Well, you're so terrified of Westbrook gaining advantage by penetrating and getting inside that you're slow to close out. You challenge him to make those kind of threes. Here's Connaughton. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Here's White, and he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Oklahoma City leading by five. George looking over the floor. And that one, good. George has got nine. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. McGee finds White. Just five to shoot. From deep. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. 
Adams has got six rebounds in the game. Yeah, and that one way back in the first quarter was the three-pointer that has been his only one of the night. The pass to White. Here's Swanigan. Covered by Beasley. Swanigan kicks to White. The Thunder pull it in. Adams has got his seventh rebound here tonight. This feels like it's snowballed a little bit on them. The more he tries to shoot his way out of this slump, the worse it seems to get. They need him to get it together. Here's Swanigan. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. To the wing right side. Here's Crab. And misses it off the right side of the rim. The feed to Westbrook. And it's blocked. And he's able to get it back. Well, we know how explosive Westbrook can be. He just forces defenses to foul him. The Thunder have shot two free throws, and they're one of two so far. Can't get the first one. Well, after averaging a triple-double during the 16-17 MVP campaign for Russell Westbrook, he just keeps coming at you. What an electrifying and exciting player. And he sinks the second. Las Vegas trails by eight. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, that, their offense has ground to a standstill. There's Crab with the three. The rebound by Steven Adams. Adams has got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Thunder will retain possession. Great energy on the deflection and a good job disrupting their offense. Yeah, appreciate the work right now on the defensive end. Brown is checked in for Las Vegas. Now, here's George. They lead by eight. That's the biggest of the game. And again, no good by Oklahoma City. Yeah, and, and that three-point shot, it really has looked awful here in the second quarter. It hasn't stopped them from attempting them, but it, it's time to maybe find something else to do. Here's Schroeder, still looking for his first bucket in this one. And it's out of bounds. They say last touch by Adams. Grant is checked in for Oklahoma City. Robertson comes in for Russell Westbrook. Andre Robertson. White against Schroeder. Teardrop shot. Can't hit that one. Now Oklahoma City takes it the other way. A shot by George. Wide open. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Grant's got the lead up to 10 now for the Thunder. Well, he's so active. You got to box Grant out when the shot goes up. He'll get to the offensive glass, and he rises up off the floor pretty quick. Now here's White. Lock at six. Here's Crab, 18 feet away, and he knocks it down. And Crab showing a knack on that position for connecting on a shot that's challenged by the defense. So, not mattering who's on him that time. Here's Grant. The second chance effort and the layup by George. George has got 11 points. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. White the pass to Crab. There's 45 seconds left in the first half. Somehow ignores the tight D and gets the way up. And for a player who's so prolific from beyond the arc, Crab has the length and some hops inside to beat you. Offensive rebound. Count it. Grant's got four points this quarter. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Here's White. The shot from the low post is good. Well, he's one for five in the quarter, and his body language is saying a lot about where his confidence is. Rattled just a little bit. Maybe the next open look will start him up. And here's George. For the three, trains it from beyond the arc. 14 points for him. Now, which ways tonight has Paul George not made an impact in this game, a one-man wrecking crew 
And so it's Oklahoma City. Their lead at 11 points to end the quarter. They've been playing some inspired defense, giving up very few easy points. And we'll be right back after this. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, Ernie Johnson with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. The NBA playoffs are happening, and we're happy to have you here for the halftime show. Looking at the Thunder, they followed up their win in game one with a solid performance here in the first half tonight. If they can hold on and win this game, they could go into game three with very little pressure on themselves. Shaq, your thoughts on the Thunder? You know what I like about Paul George? He's quietly going about his business. Sometimes he'll take a back seat, not in this case in the first half. Like the length, the skill, the deep range, matchup nightmare. How about you, Kenny? What did you think about this home team? Their inaccuracy from behind the off is brutal. Shot selection, I didn't see any. The perimeter offense they're running, you could scrap that. They need to get back to the bases. Pound it inside, more pick and roll. Try to pick up some easy buckets in transition. And that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. About to get underway. Ladies and gentlemen, dance team. NBA playoffs, round one. Thanks for joining us as we get back to the action on the court. It's been one outstanding game from George. Yeah, it's been a great performance from him. Really staying focused on quality shots. Yeah, this is showing that they're not going to play at anybody else's pace but their own. Well, it doesn't get much better than playoff basketball. Let's get back to the action here in round one. Third quarter action getting rolling right now. Brought to you by Gatorade. All filled up and ready to go. Here's who's on the floor. On the court right now for Las Vegas. We've got White. JaVale McGee is out there with Jamba Parsons. And it's Holden and at the portion. Yeah, attacking the interior is something White does well. He's crafty and he makes good adjustments against the defense. Yeah, that's two straight three-pointers they've allowed. Pass to McGee. White against Westbrook. Back to McGee. No stopping him there. Jams it in as he's fouled. Chance now for a three-point play. Steven Adams picks one up. And no doubt, they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. The Thunder leading by nine. Westbrook up top. 11 points in the game. With that lethal first step, Westbrook uses it to get an edge, and that helps draw the contact. He's made one and missed one so far in the game. Take a break. Take a break. Who's up? That one misses. And he's good on the second. And so White will bring it up for Las Vegas. It's a 10-point game. McGee dishes the White. to shoot from outside off the mark and you know what he's just not on his game no doubt about it their deficit isn't totally on him but he has not been an asset for his team and it's George missing right, how about the timing he shows there to challenge that shot yeah not easy to do there and that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously and all you got to do is look at the rebounding margin as to why they hold the lead. Well, every time the shot goes up, guys are doing a nice job of finding bodies and making sure there's room to collect the rebound. 
Holden, good. That kind of looks like a predictable shot, one that they want. The defense has to prevent the ball from getting into that sweet spot. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Robertson with it. Wide on him. Robertson the pass to Grant. Oh, and he parks it off the glass. Wow. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. And the Thunder with some changes. Easily comes in for Grant, and Justin Holliday is subbed in for Andre Robertson. Las Vegas trails by eight. Pass to Abrinas. Some nice passing by Las Vegas here. Passes it to Bolden. To the left wing. Let's it go from deep. And Westbrook pulls it down. The Thunder leading by eight. Outside Holiday. Dishes to Beasley. And yes, it's good. Beasley's got his first two points. And that solid play in the paint continues here, guys. The pass to McGee. Here's Bolden, defended by George. From 10 feet out. That one's not going to go. Excellent D there from Beasley. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today, and there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. So explosive on the inside, Russell Westbrook. Crazy athletic. Here is McGee, following the basket by Russell Westbrook. Back to McGee. Adams, some nice D. On offense, here are the Thunder. Pass to Westbrook. And finished off by Westbrook. You got your scorecard out, Kevin. That might be a 50. Or are we going 100 or, or 1,000? Westbrook with a unique combination of power and athleticism. McGee finds White. Back to McGee. Unloads from nine. Count that one. McGee's got five points in the quarter. That's nice vision there. You see that pass, you make the feed before the defense has a chance to react, and that opens up a, a much better opportunity to score. And it's Westbrook missing. And even though he didn't get a piece of that shot, you love the pressure he puts on the shooter. Yeah, that's the kind of energy that you want to see on every possession throughout the game. Outside Holiday, pass to Westbrook. From the arc, it's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Holiday's got his third assist on the night. Wow, unconscious has he been this quarter. They're riding that hot hand. Now here's Parsons. Back to White. Parsons on the wing. The 17-footer. Paul George grabs the miss. George has got his fifth rebound in this one. It's rebounded by Las Vegas. Parsons passes to McGee. White drives in. Here's Abrinas. Holiday with the block. Kicks it out to Parsons. Up in time. And that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. And so it's the Oklahoma City Thunder. 13 points up at the end of the period. Their defense has been active and effective. And we'll be back with you shortly. And a chance right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And how about the big fella here showing us? He's got some point guard skill here with the tremendous setup. The passing for the team becoming contagious, this time involving the big. to have you back for more playoff basketball here in round one. So for Oklahoma City right now, they've got Beasley. Grant is out there with Robertson. Then there's Dennis Schroeder and Diallo in at the two. A 
no good on that one. And the second free throw, good. The Thunder leading by 12. Shooter kicks to Beasley. The dish to Robertson. And stolen by White. Lays it up off the glass. And you can argue this is White at his best. Just an absolute terror in transition. Here's Diallo. And the layup's good off the glass. And the Thunder lead by 12. And Matador defense... That's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. Yeah, it feels like Christmas right now, just gift wrapping points. But that play never gets old, Kevin. The pick and roll will still be an offensive staple 100 years from now. Trust me. Puts it up from 17. Swanigan pulls it in. Not a bad shot from the mid-range. The D's giving it to him, and he's usually got an eye in that kind of range. Now, he's too good a finisher to blow that kind of chance, but that's going to be a wake-up call to the defense. Now here's Beasley. Final quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock into it. Right looking around. Here's Swanigan. Passes to Bolden. Shoots over Grant. Again, Las Vegas scores. I just don't think they want him taking that kind of shot again. His teammates are just laughing, shaking their heads there on the bench. Back to Beasley. There's Schroeder. And it's White with the rebound. White's got his sixth rebound on the night. And the pass to Bolden. Shoots over Schroeder. Again, Las Vegas scores. Okay, nice job here in the second half. Field goal percentage is way up from what it was at halftime when it was just barely above 30%. Diallo finds Beasley. And here's Schroeder. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Schroeder's got his first basket. Well, at 175 pounds and lanky, Schroeder still has some strength, especially on those tough finishes. Bolden, good. But not hard to see why they are giving up points on this one. Just too many good looks from in close. Schroeder passes to Grant. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. In the last few years, we've seen a nice leap from Jeremy Grant, including how effective he can be in that spot. Here's Swanigan. Second shot opportunity. He gets it in there. Well, these defenders just look a bit overmatched especially inside. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. And during this timeout, I'm sure they'll be hydrating themselves with Gatorade. All the effort out there on the floor. And these timeouts can be such a huge factor in getting a short rest and recharging the battery. of our Jordan player of the game, Russell Westbrook. And I love that it's been a hard-charging performance. Jump shots have been kind of an afterthought. His main goal has been to attack the rim and put the D in some tough spots and also finishing strong. Here's what Las Vegas has got going right now. JaVale McGee's checked in for Bolden. Parsons comes in for Brown. And Alex Sabrinas subbed in for Pat Connington. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldrin. Well, during the break, I listened in on Billy Donovan's huddle with his team. He's encouraged where they are at this point in the game, but he told his guys things can turn in a blink. What we need to do is execute the rest of the way. So we'll see if they can finish this one off, Kevin. 
All right, David, thanks. Well, on that kind of move, Paul George is such a great scorer, he can stay in control even at full speed. Las Vegas calls timeout. They trail by six. 158 left in the fourth quarter. Fifty-eight left here in the fourth quarter. And it's McGee penetrating. Gets the bucket and the foul. Steven Adams picks one up. Yeah, that's about the first defense I can imagine a team playing coming down the stretch. Well, I hope there's one player on that team out there that has interest in winning this game. Right now, it doesn't look to be one. to fall and he knew a huge shot to make it a one possession game 143 left in the fourth quarter pull from the top of the key pass to Robertson Westbrook with it six on the shot clock here's Grant it's rebounded by Las Vegas McGee's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Here's Swanigan. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's yeah, good job to take it right at the team. Shooting for Las Vegas. Caleb Swanigan. the first one and that brings them within two so he gets them both and so Westbrook will bring it up for Oklahoma City They've led by as many as 14 points Swanigan pulls it in and the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. And here are the Thunderdome. Trailing by two. 50 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Offensive rebound. Adam. It's good! And tie game. That is a huge basket right there. Remember that one, guys, a difference maker. Well, I'm wondering, Greg, is that the biggest shot of the game? And hey, when you're a big shot maker in college, that often carries over to this level. Certainly, pass for White. Now, here's Robertson. Down to five on the shot clock. And there's the intentional foul. No choice but to stop the clock here. Yeah, you, you can't let him hold the ball and just milk those last seconds away. Two shots. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. The athleticism and blinding speed White possesses 
is impressive. This guy plays with a lot of moxie. And no good on the second free throw, so he goes home for two there. You know, I don't believe in the word choke, but to come away empty right there is brutal. This game would have been over. Time called here of the Thunder decide to talk it over. They're trailing by two. 11 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Guys, what do you think? Big chance here to tie it with a bucket. Well, they just need a solid play right now, and Coach going through his index cards to find one to get something going. Seconds left in the fourth quarter. Now Westbrook. Three pointer. So it's a narrow victory for Las Vegas, pulling it out for the W. Just a massive victory, Greg. Maybe it's overstating it, but I think this was a game they had to hand. And I don't think it's overstating it. I agree with you. I mean, going down 2 0 would have given this team a huge hill to climb. But now at one game apiece and with some momentum, this is anybody's serious. And that about wraps it up, folks. We hope you've enjoyed our broadcast of the NBA Western Conference quarterfinals. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Alden, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you next time.